confetti club it is fixie and we are here for a makeup video i feel like it's been a while since i've done a makeup tutorial sort of thing so i'm very excited this video is gonna be a double whammy i have two highlighter looks for i cannot stop moving my hands i have two highlighter looks for you guys that include glitter of course i have been asked almost more than anything i feel like my top three most frequent commented things are you look like melanie martinez no i don't we've been doing this long before melanie has just saying her music's good but just saying um will you do a room tour and how do you attach the glitter to your face so here's a response for one of those things and we're gonna do some glittery stuff this isn't my well, yeah it is. Never mind. I was gonna say this isn't exactly how I do my glitter every day, but like pretty much. <laughs> so highlighted super glowy cheekbones have been like I think one of the major major beauty trends of 2016 slash end of 15. Um, and I've kind of hopped on that boat a little bit um, in a different sense where it's not so much like cheeks so sharp could cut a knife and more like Oh my god, she looks like an alien. Why are her cheeks green? Um, but I like it, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do a holographic highlighter with glitter and also how to do a cotton candy pink and blue iridescent fady gradient adjective highlight. And I'm just gonna do one on each cheek because Glitter's really hard to wipe off. And I'm gonna get my dang mirror. Also, I really like my hair like this. I really like it. I'm so into it. I'm gonna start with the one that people probably mostly care about, which is the holographic, hollow as heck, highlight look. So, I have all of my stuff, all of my weapons ready to go. What you will need for this look is a highlighter base. I recommend something that is not the traditional white or like peachy skinny tone one. I'm using Jeffree Star's Mint Condition because I own it. I know a lot of people hate Jeffree right now, but I bought this so I'm gonna use it. To give it sort of a, not just silver, because it's easy for holographic stuff to just look gray when the light's not shining on it. So we're gonna... <laughs> And you are going to need some sort of adhesive to stick the glitter on. You can buy literal glitter adhesive. I know Too Faced has one. You can get them at like Sally Beauty Supply. I have glitter eyeliners that are liquid. This is what I use every single time. I do not have a glitter adhesive just because I use these and they work. And it's another layer of glitter because you can never have too much. Um, I have... Urban Decay's Heavy Metal in Junk Show. I think I said Junkyard a thousand times. It's Junk Show, it's the pink one, which is what I use quite a lot. And I have these two, which are just from Sally Beauty Supply. They're like seven bucks or something. It's called Eye Drama. I don't even know what the friggin' colors are called, but this one is a silver silver. And this one I just got, it's like white and like pearlescent, but it goes on quite white, so. This one I would recommend more so. I'm gonna use this brush from Claire's because again, I bought them, so I'm gonna use them. And you're gonna pick up your highlight base. It doesn't have to be Jeffree. Can be anything, anything that isn't just a white or like a typical highlight color. And you're gonna put that shit on your cheekbone and you're gonna pile that motherfucker on. Sometimes I use my fingers for this. I'm not gonna lie to you. It works a lot better if you want it to really get that like minty pigment. But I think we're doing okay like this. But bam, ba bam, bam. Do you see the difference? <laughs> I hope so. I'm gonna use the Silver Eye Drama because this is what I usually have used for this. But before that, before you go and put the wet stuff on your face that is time sensitive because you need to put the dry glitter on before it dries, you're going to take your glitter. Let's do a close up on this bad boy. This is from Sally Beauty Supply. It was literally $2 or something. It is for the body. You're not supposed to put it on your eyes, but face is okay. Um, it is called Flashing Lights. And I really, really like it. It's super duper cute. Um, I'm not sure if Sally is just a Canadian chain or not, but if not, I know Makeup Forever has a bunch of glitters and you can find face glitter 
all over the place. So you're gonna take your glitter liner or your adhesive, it doesn't really matter, I like this because it gives another layer of glitter, and you're just gonna kind of wub 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 like you're painting a small wooden birdhouse from the dollar store with some acrylic paint also from the dollar store. <laughs> what a cheap and easy craft. But it's your face! Yeah, you can also leave that there. Sometimes I've done that and just put glitter over a highlighter. I'm an idiot and I didn't pour out the glitter, I just showed it. Don't be me. I use my finger, you can use a brush. Obviously, if you're doing a face that is not your own, don't use your finger, but like, it's me, I'm fine. I know I'm clean. And you can spread it around a little bit so it's not like a dramatic strip of glitter. Under my bright um, studio lights, you can't totally tell the rainbow effect, maybe I'll turn them off. I know that's dark as hell, especially for my videos, which I try to get super duper light, but hollow as heck. Yay, so that is the first highlighted look. I hope you like it. I would love to show the inside of this thing. Look at that. Again, it looks pretty gray with the lighting, but it's crazy. And then you pick it up just like that. Look at that beautiful hollow. All right, and now there's holographic stuff all over the palette I'm gonna use for the next look. This next look is a bubble gummy cotton candy two-tone pink and blue we're gonna be using the same method to apply this um, you can use again any other highlighter as a base I'm gonna be using unicorn from the Too Faced totally cute palette because it has a sort of purpley shimmery undertone which I like I'm going to be using urban decay's heavy metal in junk show for this one because it's pink and we're putting pink in it and I have this stacking tube of cosmetic glitter that I got from Claire's. Again, you can get fancier glitter at Sephora or wherever, but I had this kicking around. This is what I've been using in past videos, so I figured I'd just show it to you the way I've been doing it and not lie and pretend I'm fancier than I am. So you're gonna take the shade Unicorn, which is really pretty. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do that. That's pretty, not as intense as Jeffrey, um, but what would you expect? This has definitely got like a purple blue undertone. I'm not sure if that's picking up on camera. That's the thing with doing these sparkly iridescent makeup tutorials is that under the lights, it's like, what's going on? Once you've got that on, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay in Junk Show. There we go. This stuff looks a bit dark because the glitter is like a darkish pink but you're putting more glitter over it, so it's good. This one's a little harder than the last. So we're taking this pink glitter. I'm gonna use my finger, you don't have to, you can be fancier than that. And I'm going to stick it onto one end. It doesn't matter, you can do pink closer to your eye or further away, it's all up to you. And you're gonna take the blue and pat that on the other end and the hardest part about this is making sure they kind of blend so it almost looks like it's one color of glitter just a trick of the light so iridescent crazy sparkle but it's really just two kinds of glitter that you like tried really hard to blend together i'm gonna add a tiny bit of the eye drama just because the Urban Decay does dry faster, which I guess is a good thing because it's an eyeliner, but when you're using it as a base, it's like, what? I really like this. I think it's fun. I think it is definitely a pastel-y, J-fashion-y, fun thing. Um, you guys know I love all things party, bubblegum, fun, fetty, birthday cake, icing, and so I think this is fun! Wee wee wee! And super affordable, so that's good. Let's try unplugging a light. Boop! That doesn't really help. Let's unplug them both. Boop! Oh, where'd I go? So this is 100% natural light from a bedroom window. There's both sides. 
All right, you guys, these are the two highlighted glitter looks. I hope you enjoyed. I just figured I'd make a video out of this because I have been getting questions about what the hell I was wearing on my face in the past couple videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I'm probably just gonna go out like this. Maybe I'll buy a green glitter and do some matching watermelon highlight to my watermelon hair. What am I doing? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I love you very much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye-bye!